this is your forecast outlook over the next few days folks uh, basically on Saturday it's actually looking like a fairly good day across here and there will be some very nice sunshine across the country with temperatures reaching in the 17 to 21 Celsius across the west and northwest and across uh, elsewhere then temperatures will generally be between 15 to 18 Celsius uh, then on Sunday or sat Saturday night in the Sunday we'll have cloud increasing from the west with rain then arriving after midnight across western parts in the southeast and north of the country. Elsewhere across most parts of Leinster and the southeast should remain dry on Sunday but the rain doesn't look as bad as it was looking during the week so it's not going to be too bad of a day overall on Sunday. Most of the rain will be in the morning and I'll just show this here on this chart. So this is basically Saturday, you can see that high pressure and charge there over Europe and over Ireland and the UK. And this is the rainfall forecast coming in here on Sunday morning. As you can see there's rain there up along the western half of Ireland in the northwest and northern parts but eastern parts stay mostly dry. Let's go through, that's on Sunday morning. And this Sunday midday, relatively fairly good dry conditions across the country. Into the start, into the start of next week, from Monday onwards. This is actually so. This is Monday, Sunday night, in the Monday. On Monday, we have this rain again, starting to edge in the western parts, which is really only coastal fringes. But this will retreat back then, as we have this very strong ridge of high pressure kind of moving across, wedging this back. Uh, then in the Tuesday, Tuesday is actually looking like a fairly decent day across the country at the moment. These showers here are actually possible thunderstorms developing, but I'll go into that more detail in a minute. And this is going to Wednesday, a fairly nice, warm, very warm day there on Sunday. We'll show you the temperatures there in a minute because it looks fairly decent. Fairly dry again on Thursday, Friday, possibly a few thunderstorms over the week. Then Saturday, Sunday. Fairly dry and warm conditions, nice sunshine across the country and in the early days of next week. Then there is hints that there might be a slight change coming in the mid, not next week but the week after and the bank holiday weekend but we'll look at that later on. So your temperature forecast over the next few days, so this is, this is Saturday, so we've got temperatures up here around the west of Ireland around 18, 19 Celsius, then up in the, the northwest and northern parts. Temperatures actually might get into 20 Celsius to 21 Celsius over the course of tomorrow. Then in the Sunday, you have that rain coming in, a lot more cloud around, so temperatures won't be as high due to there being less sunshine. But there's indications down here in around the west and the southwest that temperatures may get up to around 18 Celsius over the day, so feeling fairly warm and humid, or fairly warm still. Then we go into Monday. As we go through Monday, condition, conditions do improve over the day. And we see temperatures here again, possibly getting up in the 20 Celsius into the northwest, and possibly in parts of the west as well. And then around here in parts of Leinster. Then we go into Tuesday. Tuesday is actually looking like another fairly decent days. But look at the temperatures in Tuesday. Most of the warmest weather this week is actually going to be over the western and northwestern half of the country, but we have temperatures here in the northwest and west up around 20 to 22 degrees. Possibly in any sunshine, it could feel a lot warmer, and temperatures may get a lot warmer, so you could be talking 23 degrees on Tuesday. Then Wednesday is actually looking like a fairly fine, warm, very warm day. Again, western, south, southwestern and northwestern areas, temperatures up to around possibly 22, 23 Celsius over the day. Then we go on and we'll actually have a look then over, as you can see, over Leinster during the week and even in the eastern Ulster, it'll actually be cooler due to the wind direction, the wind direction being an easterly wind. Then in the Thursday, we have temperatures again, a wee bit probably cooler than Wednesday, but temperatures still in the northwest and west, and even in the parts of the midlands and southeast, uh, getting in the 20 Celsius mark. So we're feeling very warm out everywhere, mainly due to the sunshine, and UV levels will be moderate to high during the week at times. Then in the Friday, we're looking at more, more sunshine across the country. Temperatures 22, 23, possibly getting the 24 Celsius. And this weekend too, also looking fairly warm. 
That's Saturday there. Temperatures again back up in the twenties. Then next Sunday you're looking up around the twenties again. Monday looking back in the twenties again into the following Monday and this is the bank holiday weekend. And then this is Tuesday of the bank holiday weekend. You look at the temperatures possibly getting into the mid twenties, but I take this sort of by a uh, pinch of salt at the minute because it's quite far ahead for in forecasting terms. So I did talk about the uh, thunderstorms there possible at the start of next week and this is mainly due I'll actually show, I'll show you the areas first where the thunderstorms are possible so this is Monday over England Wales got very warm humid air coming in from the continent due to an upper low pressure uh, area uh, pressure down in uh, the continent which will feed in warm and humid air and triggering off some thunderstorms across England and Wales then we went to Tuesday the risk actually increases we have got the risk again over England and Wales and then we have the ri a good risk here over a good portion of Leinster, the Midlands, Munster and some eastern parts of Connacht as well. And then this is going into Wednesday, Wednesday more down around Munster, the highest risk area down around here but <clears throat> a few isolated thunderstorms could trigger off in Connacht as well and possibly one or two showers over the afternoon in parts of West Ulster but then again down around England again and Wales there should be some decent thunderstorms in there here we are then Thursday again another good chance of thunderstorms across Western Ulster that's a fairly good cape there across Western Ulster Connacht down in the Munster but on these days there will be good sunshine too we look at this over England and I'll just go back to this last chart that's a fairly high risk, there's going to be some big thunderstorms there possibly next Thursday around parts of England and even in the Wales so if you're in the, if you're planning to go to Wales and England next Thursday there's a good chance you could see a very heavy thunder sh thundery shower over the afternoon or, or hours mainly then Friday we do see a, a fairly high this is actually a fairly high risk too on Friday down in Munster around the Limerick area and even up in the Gawain, some parts of Western Ulster again probably looking like the best day for any thundery activity but all days from Tuesday onwards really is looking very risky for thunderstorms over the week we just have a look at Monday here on this chart we've got a very strong ridge of high pressure here over Scandinavia then we have the jet stream basically to the north of this high pressure and above that then you got an upper low and then over mainland Europe or the continent we have this upper low pressure which at the moment it's already sparking some big thunderstorms in places across Europe but as we I'll just show you the, the jet stream here a second so basically what happens is the jet stream goes north and up around here is where we have this area of high pressure over Scandinavia and I'll just show you what happens instead of the jet stream getting dragged away to the east it actually wraps around this area of high pressure in Scandinavia so you're going to have generally very nice settled conditions in the middle of this but in turn what happens here is this allows this upper low down around the continent to get to start moving towards uh, Ireland the UK so that's bringing in warm and humid air in which it leads to thunderstorms across Ireland UK over next week. I'll just show you here quickly this map. It's a real time live map of lightning and all these wee circles and echoes this is actually live lightning strikes happening right now and you can just see how active it is at the moment so this is all down to an uh, upper low sitting over the continent at the moment.